So let's just bring you right up to date with that breaking news about the Top Gear stunt which has been making headlines this morning. Chris Evans has apologised unreservedly after scenes for the new programme were filmed near the Cenotaph in central mm. London. Top Gear, of course, accused of disrespecting Britain's war dead after filming that driving stunt just yards from the Cenotaph Memorial. Yeah, and it looks like Chris Evans has apologised on behalf of the team mm. uh, and Matt LeBlanc. It wasn't Chris Evans who was doing this stunt. Nope. It was Matt LeBlanc is one of the team of presenters that's come in. Chris has just been on his Radio 2 show and offered a complete fulsome apology. I think it's the right thing to do. I mean, it, it clearly is disrespectful, isn't it? Well, our chief correspondent, Richard Gaysford, uh, has the latest <laughs> from the Cenotaph. Um, just remind us, Richard, what happened and what Chris Evans has said. Well, Chris Evans is uh, uh, apologising unreservedly for the stunt that happened right here less than 24 hours ago, Susanna. It was Matt LeBlanc, the American actor who's now one of the Top Gear presenters in this big American muscle car being driven by a professional stunt driver. And overnight, they've actually been trying to remove some of the tyre marks from just up by Downing Street, up and down Whitehall, and in uh, the Parliament Square in Westminster there where the car was doing donuts uh, and, and turning around quite quickly. Uh, Mr LeBlanc, of course, continues what is uh, seen by many as a great British tradition, uh, creating big headlines for Top Gear, but this is one that has annoyed a lot of people because it happened so close to the Cenotaph, where, of course, so many people come on a daily basis to honour those who gave their lives for the country. There's no missing the wake-up call. Top Gear is back and with a new American star. Matt LeBlanc and a professional rally driver certainly left their mark on closed Westminster streets. Most know the Cenotaph for peaceful and reflective gatherings. Yesterday, though, a very different picture. I found it quite sickening to see this kind of stunt carried out. It's grossly disrespectful. The BBC should not allow any footage that they filmed showing the Cenotaph as a backdrop for car stunts to be broadcast. The Chancellor said he was disturbed from writing his budget speech by the noise outside Downing Street. After years of negative headlines, former Top Gear presenter Jeremy Clarkson was fired for attacking his producer. The faces might have changed. It seems the controversies haven't, even before the new programme goes on air. Richard Gaysford, Good Morning Britain. All right, that's uh, Richard Gaysford reporting. Well, I wonder what will happen to the footage. Well, I mean, fair play, I think, to Chris Evans for just completely holding his hands up and mm. saying it was wrong. It, it does seem odd to me that top people at the BBC and, I guess, at government level must have approved this, and that in itself is a weird thing to do. For permission yeah, to Matt even LeBlanc, be there. Yeah, Matt LeBlanc may not have been as aware of the sensitivities around the Cenotaph. He's American, um, but they've done the right thing about it. But look at it, look at that picture. I mean, how can you think that is a good idea, to have that? as a promotional tool for your new series. I mean, not, yeah. not good.